So we've been having some really interesting conversations on the live show, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 4.30 a.m. Central, be there. A little bit about like kind of branding and making your own clothes and stuff like that. And there is a denim jacket that I picked up a couple weeks ago. And I'm thinking I want to start like dressing it up a little bit. So today we're going to go and pick up some studs and I'm going to show you guys how to put studs on an article of clothing. Last night took an hour, but tonight I bounce back. Wake up every morning, by the night I count steps. Know that I was real when I hit it, bounce back. You ain't getting checks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check, check. Last night took an yeah. L, but tonight I bounce back. Boy, I've been broke as hell. Catch the check and bounce back. D Town LAX, every week I bounce back. Whoa, if you a real whoa, one, then you know how to bounce back. Hey, you know, you know. You know, you know. Let it just ride on this one. Hey, my fingertips dirty, I came up from nothing I'm hungry and nobody handed me shit Spicy hot wings for breakfast, eating like a bachelor What's good? Headed to the thrift right now And then we're gonna swing back and hit up the uh, fabric store on the way back Never take a break, ain't seen a bed in about a hundred days. I might do a feature for a hundred K just so we never back on section A. I walk on wall, nigga, call it. Looks like it just place. rained out here. Looks like we just missed the rain, so I think we're gonna head across town and uh, try to hit up one of the nicer stores to see if we can get some more stuff. I don't know when I'll be coming home. Yes, I Today sucks. Just keep failing. Can't find anything. It's time to go work on that jacket. Oh damn. I totally forgot I was supposed to teach you guys how to put studs on a jacket. And I'm like going in the wrong direction. So let's turn this thing around. Since it's Sunday, all the fabric stores are actually closed. Um, I'm gonna try Walmart. But I don't have to have that kind of stuff, but then again, they have everything else, so why not? Not so studs. You mean like, um, like clothing studs? Studs, like studded jacket or like studded. Up there where those green heels are at on the very top. Is that the only kind of fabric stuff you guys have now? Yeah. Okay, change of plans. Why don't we do some acid wash instead? Pretty productive day. Um, Here's the jacket. Let me show you guys what it is. It is a, uh, it's a Levi's. I think it's a size 44. The size is kind of like rubbed off there. It's kind of size kind of rubbed off, but um, it had this sticker right here. This little. So I've been peeling that off slowly over the last couple of days, but um, they already took off the sleeves, right? So. It's just a denim jacket with the sleeves taken off, so it's a vest now. Since we can't do the studs right now, I figured we'd just go ahead and try to stone wash. I was looking at the Gucci fashion for 2017, and I saw that they had a lot of like stone wash and acid wash stuff going on. I figured, why not take this jacket and try to replicate um, that kind of style? But we'll see. I mean, we'll see how it turns out. I might totally ruin this jacket. But nonetheless, um, We've been talking a lot about making things more unique, but it's more about being on trend than anything. So let's see if we can make this jacket fit in a little bit better. If you're ordering USPS shipping supplies, you can actually get rubber bands, rubber bands on there, uh, absolutely free. But there's probably like 10,000 rubber bands in here. I've had it for three years, but I got those from there. Um, picked up some bleach from Walmart and and a spray bottle, but. The thing is, the look I'm going for is like more of a blotchy style than it is like a straight stone wash. So, so the first part of the process actually involves taking each part of the denim and bunching it up using the rubber bands. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take different areas. By the way, I have never done this. So I guess a lot of that. Rain 
Raindrops, drops, drop top Smoking on cooking a hot pot Fucking on your bitch, here, thought, thought Cooking up dope in the crock pot We came from nothing to something, bro I don't trust nobody, get the uh Call up the gang and they come for ya I'm just gonna tell you guys my concerns right now before I get any further into this. The tutorial I'm using actually only has 23 likes, but it has 2,000 views. But I'm thinking it's because I think it's because it's a different style and it's a style people don't like. But this right here is what I'm trying to get to. I want the big, yeah, I want the big white void patches. So I don't know. We'll see if this turns out that way. But if it doesn't disclaimer whatever i'm gonna have to put the video out anyway i already made it but um this is a way to do it typically people just take the bleach put it in a spray bottle and spray it but um we'll see i'm gonna do a little bit of that too but um i'm feeling confident all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the jacket and we're gonna put it into this bucket here and it looks like we need two cups of water for every cup of bleach so let me go ahead and mix that up put those in there and we're gonna let it sit for an hour and a half So I went with four cups of water, so two cups of bleach. So it's gonna take an hour and a half for it to sit before I have to rotate it. So before I go play some 2K, rocking with the Bucks, of course, um, I'm gonna just make some observations real quick in the camera so that way you guys know exactly what it's looking like. I used four cups of water, two cups of bleach. Um, I used this easy pour bleach i didn't mean to get that i thought it was regular bleach i didn't even notice it but it's a little bit thicker so i'm making all these notes in case it comes out funky um it's definitely not sitting in there all the way like most of it is not inside the bleach so i'm already thinking ahead like okay well if it doesn't come out right i can leave it in longer or i can still add bleach later on so i'm just figuring it's better to not go all in at first and then if I need to add more later on I can so that's what it's looking like I'm gonna go set the timer and I'll be back in an hour and a half and we'll see what it's looking like okay so it's been an hour and a half let's check it out Gotta flip it over right now. Okay, full disclosure, I was supposed to actually be back out here at like 11, and it's now 1.13 a.m., so I may have ruined the jacket by leaving it in too long, so let me go ahead and take it out. I definitely see some corrosion already on the button. Let's take a... I mean, there's a lot of corrosion going on with these buttons, unfortunately, like, it's not one spot. So hopefully, when we let it sit and wash it, most of it just washes right off. Like that, you see? Yeah, it looks pretty bad. Alright, so let's take a look at what we got. And that looks like the finished product. Now, I didn't, there's a lot of space in the back that didn't get bleach on it, so what I might do is just take some of this and spray it. But we're probably still gonna dress it up on the back here anyway, um, and do some more things to it. So this is gonna be an ongoing project, but for the most part, I'm pretty impressed. I mean, I like, I like what's going on here, so this is the beginning and um, maybe we'll give this thing away or something like that when we reach 2,000 subscribers. But uh, yeah, we're gonna let it sit out for the rest of the night and then um, when it dries, we'll check it out in the morning and we'll put it through the wash and make sure all this rust comes off. And then uh, I'll show you guys the final product a little bit later. Yeah. Hey.
fuck on me, yeah. Look at me, yeah. look at me, look at me, yeah. Fuck on me, yeah. Look at me, yeah. Fuck on me, look at me, fuck on me, yeah. Look at me. Yeah.